everyone. Thank you for watching today's tip. So for today's marketing tip, I want to talk to you guys about the power of having it created a sales funnel. So one of the things that really helps in being able to best understand how your advertising is really going to be able to help in your sales process is first creating a sales funnel. All a sales funnel is, is basically saying and putting down in picture what it is the way your consumer interacts with your business. So I always like to do it in tiers of interactions. So what's the most, all the ways that they're going to interact with my business for the first time. So if you have a website, it could be a website. If you have a social media account, it could be social media. It could also be advertising if you're running ads. And so once I figure out all the first ways that they may interact with my business, then comes, all right, the second time they interact with my brand, they interact with my business, how's that going to be? Well, depending on who you are and your service or product, it will vary quite a bit. It may be they ask a friend who might know something. It may be they look at your website. It may be they look at your social media. If you're running blogs or articles on your website that are constantly changing, they may look through those. Now that they're kind of getting in the research phase, now they may even look at other websites that are to compare and contrast to yours. Then what's the third interaction? Well, the third interaction, it may be contacting you. It may be hitting you up on social media. It may be having a, a phone call with you and going, hey, I want to, you know, I'm interested in what you're doing. I want to know more. Or it may just be buying, right? For some products, for some services, it's a low enough cost point that people will just buy. They'll go, you know what? I trust you. I trust your brand. I want to take the plunge. Now, why this is so helpful is it allows you to better understand how your advertising can be number one geared and number two how effective it's going to be in getting your consumers to buy some things are more impulsive buys than others and the more impulsive buy the less interaction someone might have with your business or the less research they might do and the more time consuming and research spent the less impulsive and the more your ads become about building trust and a brand that they believe in to buy. As always, I hope this marketing tip really helps elevate you and your business to be able to go to the next level.